We almost always recommend cold and not heat for back pain or any other aches and pains, especially if it's recently come on or recently got worse. And the reason for that is because that there's often inflammation involved. And if you heat up inflammation with a, a wheat bag or a hot water bottle, it can feel nice at the time because it's comforting, but it can actually increase the inflammation and make the pain worse or make it last longer. So we always recommend a cold nine, nine times out of 10. But which is better, the gel pack, Now this could be a bag of frozen peas as well, or the spray, or it could be a gel that you can get down the chemist. Um, they both have their place, but I'm gonna say most of the time this is superior. The actual gel pack is superior. And the reason is because it's physically cold. It's not just the sensation of cold, it physically is cold. So what that does is it draws the heat, it draws the inflammation away from the area, literally reducing the inflammation. So that can make it a lot more manageable. Um, so if, you've got, if you're at home and you've got one of these, it's always good to have one in the freezer. Cover it with a tea towel, don't put it directly on the skin, but just stick it on anywhere that needs to go, like anywhere, if your back's sore, put it on your lower back for about 15, 20 minutes, and it really takes care of a, lot, of a lot of the pain. However, if you're out and about, or you're at work or something like that, and it's not convenient to have one of these stuck down your pants, then these, this is where these come in, basically. So although it's not gonna physically reduce the inflammation, it's still going to provide the sense of cold, and what that does is it distracts the brain. The brain can only focus on certain, a certain amount of input at the same time. So when you've got a, a sensation like this, and to be honest, the, the gels that feel hot, they're doing a similar sort of thing, but I prefer the cold ones. Um, your brain's distracted by it, and that means that you feel less pain, which means that you go about your activities. It doesn't numb it, but you go around things uh, with l less fear avoidance. You're not worried about hurting yourself as much. It's always good to be cautious, but it helps you get through the day better. So yeah, if you're at home or you've got one of these to hand, I'd always go with one of these. But if you're out and about and it's not convenient, then these are great too. So this is really good to have like in the car, for example, or at work or um, in your gym bag or handbag or whatever, if you're prone to back pain, that kind of thing. Yeah, pretty simple really, but that clears up a, a couple of questions that we had. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll see you soon. Take care.